Well, let's talk about getting your preferences in your machine set up for the first time. So let's go to ProPresenter 5 and down to Preferences. Now, not only can we check for updates and check for updates automatically, but ProPresenter allows you to have multiple libraries. So this is easy to change. So we're going to go to Manage Library. And I'm just going to add a new library folder in. Now, I'm going to go up to Documents, and I'm going to find this Pro 5 library, which contains some songs already in it. I'm going to hit Select and hit Save. Now you're going to see my library automatically updates and adds those songs in. And if I go in here and just switch it back to default, you'll see I have my other library. So it's very easy to switch between libraries. We can also set our default logo here. And we can also set where application data saves to. And we can do this for all users, only this user, and we can even set a custom path. Now we can do the same for a media repository, just like iTunes ProPresenter can automatically manage your media and save it to this centralized location. Now ProPresenter automatically looks in certain folders for media when it's opening up at the beginning. And we can set a specified destination. So if we've moved all of our media into a certain folder, we can add that in there. So I'm gonna hit add, I'm gonna go to documents, and you're gonna see I have a My Media folder that contains all of my media. So I'm just gonna add that in, and now ProPresenter will search that path for different media. We can also put in our CCLI copyright information. So I'm just gonna add in a number here, and we can configure this layout and say which tokens we wanna to use and which, which things we wanna show. So if we just wanna show the license number, or if we wanna put in all of the copyright information, we can do that, as well as edit the template of what that looks like and you can select which slide you want that on. Now onto the display settings, under here you can see we can display this at the topmost window layer, so that means ProPresenter will be at the very top and nothing can cover it up, and we can scale to fit the output. We can also enable stage display. Now to find out more about stage display, make sure to check out the in-depth tutorial that goes through all of the different features. Now moving on, we can set up our screen size. Now to get the best quality image, make sure to set up your screen size to the native resolution of your projector or screen. Now you can do this by hitting the full screen button or you can type in settings and then hit update. You can also use the corner pinning feature which also has a in-depth tutorial. Now moving on to the labels area, this is where we can set what labels we want for different categories, groups, and slides. So let's say if a youth ministry is using this, they probably do games, so we want to have a games category for those slides. And I also notice underneath here that we don't have anything for a bridge of a song. So I'm just going to add in bridge, and we can select a color for this, so I'm just going to add cyan for that, and we could do the same for slide labels. Now moving on to DVD playback, we can disable DVD playback and we can also prevent spin down which helps make sure the DVD will play back immediately. Also in here you can install the Handbrake CLI which allows ProPresenter to save DVD clips to your hard drive. There's also an in-depth tutorial about this feature. Now moving on to live playback, we can select our video source as well as we can set if we want it to preserve the aspect ratio or disable video input. Now under sync, this allows us to synchronize our library across the network to multiple machines. Now you can do this for documents, playlists, props, message masks, templates, and media. You can select one or all of these, and you can synchronize this up, down, or bi-directionally. Next we can go to network, and under here you'll see features like master control, pro presenter remote, pro presenter remote stage display, and PVP network. Now all of these features have their own in-depth tutorials, so make sure to check those out on how they work. At the bottom you'll also see the Planning Center Online settings, and this is where you'll go to log into Planning Center. Again, there's an in-depth tutorial about this feature. Under Advanced, we can change our image and video behavior, and I like to set our background and foregrounds to scale to fit, which preserves the aspect ratio of the image or video. And finally, under Modules, you can enable modules like the multi-screen module, um, edge blending, master control, alpha key, and SDI output. Again, make sure to check out in-depth tutorials about different features that were mentioned, but that's how you can get your preferences set up for the first time inside ProPresenter.